Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Tudor. Today we're going to talk about how to install OAPS WebGuard. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you very soon. Okay guys, let's go for it. So the first thing first is you need to go to Google and download the Java. So you're gonna go to Java, uh, the Oracle website to download your Java, as you can see on the screen now. Once you download it, the easy version is the Java SE. So you go to the website, you find out what operating system you you're gonna work on. But in my case, is Window operating system. So I select Window, and I go to the download link, and click on it and download exactly what we're looking for and make sure you know where you can install your java so after that you're gonna go to the web got so you'll find it in the uh web got uh, website as you can see there um once you go there you'll see all the information you need for your installation make sure you learn the act stop attack the description or the warning because it's got two warning take your time to read it carefully it's a warning one and a warning two so make sure you understand exactly what you're doing because we're talking about cyber security right here so you need to be careful so once you check both of them you'll see on the right hand side there's a download option yeah, I'll give you the time to really be more what's going on. Uh, uh, you're going to understand exactly what you up to. So once you're there, you click on the download on the standalone jar. It's going to redirect you to the web got and the gate. So select the version 8.22. Again, I have a time to read carefully what you're looking for. In our case, we select the server version, the 8.22. Download it. Make sure you know exactly what you're putting in your, your download. And then, ready to go. So, check out to your DOS prompt. Go to command line and find out exactly if what you download is really existed for the web god. So, see exactly what I'm doing now. You can see on the list everything is there but sometimes i don't even purpose in this video to make some error so you're gonna find out exactly because it's not gonna be like a straightforward sometimes you're gonna find some funny error come up in your installation because uh it's not quite easy it took me two or three times to start again before i come up to the good result that's what i'm gonna share with you Yeah, then once you select your version to 8.22, everything is clear as I said. Go through it really carefully and make sure that you're on a web got in the gate. And then try to read again all information from the introduction and what you're going to use that insecure web application and use the standalone, which is the option I use to install my web got so again standalone is the best option to to do it carefully and uh, to make sure that everything is secure so again bear in mind this is one of the tool you can use for training only but if you want to do more than that it's up to you really but it's really something you need to be careful on so once you install it and everything is fine that's what you're gonna see on your screen so you put the link exactly which port you're gonna need and you put the IP address for your local host which it can be anything if you go to IP config you're gonna see your 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 IP address you're gonna put there as a local host once you've done that you click enter everything's gonna be perfect so far so good 
so you can see your information clearly appear that means you're ready to use the web god but sometimes you can have an error message like an apple here if you put it wrong you copy it from the git and paste it with not making sure that there's something missing so my friends be sure you're gonna have uh, some kind of error so you need to be careful when you're copying the link and really check it cross checking it make sure that you're not missing anything so in my case some point instead of put jar i put java so it was not working so it took me a long time until i figured out that instead you need to put jar and really follow carefully each line exactly what you're gonna need also make sure that you put dash server like you can see now i remove everything i copy from the git uh, uh, website and uh, make sure the link is exactly what I'm looking for according to my operating system, which is Windows 10. So once you put it in, so everything's happy, then the party gonna start very soon. So you just need to put enter, and uh, you'll see everything gonna come clear. So this is the scenario where I was really struggling nothing was working and i just noticed that oh whoa that was a, a, a little mistake i didn't put a server and uh, i double check again to make sure that my local host uh, was correct and i don't have no problem and so once i click enter there we go i start my party everything's fine and i'm ready to use my web god so yeah pretty much uh, this is the first step so I'll try to check out again to make sure that everything is perfect and everything correct. But sometimes if it's already start and you see the error message come up like if you're trying to 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 to, to do it again uh, to, to install again, it's gonna tell you that oh the server is already run right out. So what you can do next is you're gonna go to your browser as you can see in a minute. This is showing exactly uh, all the files you're going to see once you install it. Yeah, this is in case of that you want to reinstall again. It's going to tell you that, wait a minute, it's already installed. So what you need to do now is just make sure everything's fine. Then go to your local host and uh, your browser is going to tell you exactly uh, if it's installed or not. So if you put just the address you get from git you're gonna see that screen so once you're in there you go so you can go around switch part by part and bear in mind there's another option which is a web wolf but i don't want to cover that today i'll cover that in different video but for today is purely to show you exactly how to install it and what is what content in the web got uh, 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 application so you got a lot of option but everything is based on all apps top 10 and the new version just come out which is still draft version but this is the all apps top 10 you need to know as a security professional so once you wave around check out everything which as I say I'm gonna cover that in a different video so you can go and see log out try to create yourself a new user check the report card because it's kind of like a training to see exactly what you're doing try to read again to understand what the oaps foundation tried to create here that was our video on how to install webgot so i hope we see you very soon bye bye and thank you for watching